Morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Right, today I'm going to do a little video on this Mini 1275. So here's the Mini, we've got it all stripped down and laid out. Now I'm going to do this video because I did promise the owner, Ben, that I would do a video on his engine. He absolutely loves his car, um, he's very excitable. He, I don't think he's slept for about two weeks by the sounds of it, bless him. But <laughs> now I've got it all cleaned up and laid out. We've done some measuring. I'm just going to show you sort of what we're dealing with here, what we've got. So we've got the sort of old bits here. Um, you've got your chain and your pulleys, the back plate, front cover. That's just going to go in the in the box for him to take back because we've got all new stuff to go on there. So if we start with the crank, we've measured the crank. It's at standard. Um, this is a, a 1990s fuel injection 1275 Mini. So for a Mini, it's relatively sort of new, um, albeit sort of nearly 30 years old now. But um, as I say, it was in really because he wanted to chuck a load of new sort of tricky bits at it, get it all freshened up. You know, as I said, the car is absolutely immaculate. So he just wants the engine sort of back to fresh really with a few uprated bits. So we've got the crankshaft here. The crank measures standard and Fortunately, the journals are absolutely perfect. So we're gonna give this a polish and obviously balance it with the new flywheel and clutch and pulleys. We've got the cylinder head here. So the cylinder head is already unleaded and how you can sort of tell that is in the exhaust, you have these hardened valve seats put in rather than the seat just cut directly into the cast iron. So they're all set up for unleaded. So all we're gonna do with that, we're gonna blast it. We're gonna soda blast it right back. We're gonna cut the seats, uh, blast and reface the valves, and then that's good to go. We're also gonna recondition the rocker shaft. We do this on all the minis anyway, so we'll put a new rocker shaft in there. If the the bushes and what have you, and all the, the, the rockers, or a nice slide fit on there. We're not going to renew them, but we normally clean them up and face them. So we've got that down here in the bucket ready to be stripped. So as I say, providing that these are all nice on the new shaft, we'll clean, as I say, we'll clean all those up and put them on the new shaft and that'll be like new really. Uh, so we've got the, the cylinder block here. This is obviously on a standard bore. This engine's never been apart. It's on a standard bore. There is a little bit of a wear ridge at the top. And if I measure it, bearing in mind, the bore size for this engine is 2.7805. So that is set on the zero at that exact measurement. Measurement. We normally run them sort of getting on half a thou over. So about that really, but right at the top where the wear ridge is, you can see there's a, probably like maximum two and a half thou wear right at the top, which isn't disastrous, but the reason we don't deglaze now, I mean, this would probably, it, it more than likely be okay with a deglaze, but the reason we don't do that on our engine builds now is because we have had probably three or four engines, not particularly a mini, but three or four old engines in the past, which we've deglazed and deglazed good and proper, as in sort of removed maybe quarter of a thou material, and the new rings haven't bedded in. And the reason for that is there would be, and it wouldn't show up when you deglaze it, it would all look good, but once the engines run with the new rings, you would find a certain area or a patch in the bore that sort of glazes up again and it's almost like it's a hard spot so unless you bore it you can't get rid of that so because of that um the engine would burn oil use oil smoke um so because of that we don't do that if we're doing an engine it's rebored and that's the end of it same with the block face we won't fit a new head gasket unless we reface the block um, as you can see on here, the minis are renowned for sort of going on the centre pots because it's it's thinner there than it is on the on the end ones. Um, but you can, as you can see, if you've got a nice clean gasket line like that, it means it's it's been sealing okay. But in the middle here, where it goes black, it's just starting to blow the gasket. And as you can see, same on the cylinder head, really. So. 
we should go ahead reface that block rebore it clean it up and give it a lick of paint so here's the pistons and rods we're obviously going to replace the pistons with 0.5 oversize to, to match the bore when it's rebored rods all here all look good but what i do is the same as what i always do is measure the big end housings make sure they're good if not we will resize them and then we shall go ahead and balance all the rods so they all weigh exactly the same end for end and um, sort of machining wise that is about it really say so once it's all balanced and bored and faced what have you that's all you can do um, but if we have a look over here this is our table of new bits that Ben has supplied courtesy of MED so all these parts have come from MED um, really nice quality stuff um, so if we start over here we've got aluminium operated sort of front pulley we've got the vernier pulley set up here and a new cam chain uh, we've got an uprated piper camshaft which will be a fast road cam and we've got the, the data sheet under here so we know how to set that up to the vernier we've got aluminium water pump here we've got uprated oil pump we've got new aluminium back plate with the gaskets We've got a real trick billet front cover here. That's a fancy bit of kit, that. Looks really nice. Uh, we've got a light and flywheel with a uprated Borgen Beck clutch. Uh, this is his original rocker cover, so that is the actual color of the car. Um, really nice color. We've got uprated valve springs, new followers, and we've got an ARP and stud kit. So yeah loads of new goodies to go on so hopefully once it's all built up look real smart so we've got the mini block set up on the boring bar here we're on the done three already as you can see they've cleaned there at half a mil we're on the last bore here just setting it up and um and then we'll take it off this boring bar and set it up for refacing the block and once the pistons arrive tomorrow we can hone the bores so we've finished boring this block and if I get a light down there, you can see that all the bores appear to have cleaned, which I fully expected them to anyway. So as I say, the next step for this block would be onto the fly cutter over there. And so to face the block, I've left about two thousand in the bores to hone out once the pistons arrive. But I always like to check to make sure that the um, the new pistons measure what they should measure. I mean, rule of thumb, usually when you've got a, a new piston, the new piston will measure the round figure. So say for example, 78 mil. Um, sorry, if the bore is meant to be 78 mil, the piston will measure less what the running clearance should be. So that piston would measure two thou less than 78 mil if that if that's what the running clearance was so as i say i never take it for granted that the pistons are going to measure that we've had them before where you know it's they usually have to mark it on this old stuff and you measure the skirt and it actually measures the round figure which means if you just bored it and honed it to the round to the ball size on the block then it would run too tight so that's the reason for that so I'm going to get that faced and crack on with the, we're going to take the old guides out of the cylinder head, um, but I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not going to have any other bits now until tomorrow. So all I can do is strip this cylinder head, take the old guides out, put the new ones in. Um, as you can see, if we have a look at an exhaust guide, there's a little bit of side play there which is obviously not acceptable so we'll stick a new set of guides in there so i'll get this strip blasted and um give you an update tomorrow on this guys but um yeah as you say as i say i'm quite looking forward to to getting this together now with all these nice fresh bits i always like it's always nice when we have um brand new bits like this to plonk in an engine it makes it look lovely at the end but um yeah could just a quick update on the Quick update on the two boat engines. As you can see, we've took the 
heat exchangers off. Um, the customer is going to come pick these up and get them sorted, whether he's going to renew them or what. But he's going to sort that. We've, as you say, we've we've took most of the bits off this engine, and the inlet manifold was gummed right up. So we're going to obviously clean that out. We've took the injectors out of this one, put them in the box over there, which I'm going to send to a local place to, to get them reconditioned. Um, we're going to we're going to paint this block. We've got to get all the old paint off. We're going to paint it a nice light marine grey. Um, yeah, take the rocker cover off. See what we've got under there, and we do the clearances and what have you. But yeah, we're just all we're going to do. I think is just ex take bits like this, you know, off the the oil filter mounting and just replace all the external gaskets really and make sure that we've got nothing nothing else we need to do but apart from that i think we're all good i say we'll be back tomorrow guys to have a bit of a a catch up on on the mini but i'm probably gonna try and do a video every day this week just to give a, a, a sort of running update on the mini there and show you that fully done because that's going to be hopefully done by the end of this week yeah, I'm going to just try something new and maybe do a video every day this week. And uh, if it's too much, then just let me know down in the comments. I'm sure most of you guys will. But um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.